can we now see? Just as we declared, the much talked about protest is taking a different turn right now as there is a widespread cases of destruction and vandalization of government and private facilities going on, especially in the northern part of the country. Lives have also been recorded to have been lost as we speak, and people are trooping out in their thousands despite all the threats from the government. As much as these destructions are nothing to be proud of, this is only sending one message to the government, and that message is that Nigerians are fed up. You have thought that despite the massive threat from the government, with heavily harmed security positioned everywhere to discourage the protesters, people will shun this protest, but they are not even afraid to lose their lives. And do Nigerians even have a life anyway under this government? Most people cannot even afford ordinary yam anymore. The terror that happened to so many youths during the NSAS protest years back is not even enough to discourage the youths from protesting today. What does that say? It simply means that government needs to start coming to terms with reality that if you don't keep to your promise and give the people what they want, they will come out and revolt and there's nothing you can do about it. That is what we are seeing right now and it's just the first day of the protest. We still have 9 days to go. The question is, will our government learn from this? While I encourage everyone to avoid violence and embrace peaceful protest, there's a huge chance of it being hijacked as we are seeing right now. Which is why our government needs to learn from this first day of the protest. Or are they going to fold their arms and watch till the unthinkable happens? These people are hungry. All they need the most is to be able to comfortably feed themselves and their family. Government should always strive to address issues fast before the people resort to taking to the streets in protest.